All right, guys, today for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and crypto in general, we're seeing a lot of narratives being painted right now. We know the FTX thing has definitely had a huge effect on crypto, but let's just jump into it today. Let's take a look at the prices. Let's take a look at the chart. Uh, needless to say, you know, we still are, wow, we're losing this 800 billion zone even. So we've lost a trillion, obviously, but we'll have to see how much lower we can go. And I want to talk about that because for me, I when I'm looking at the chart, you know, I do think the traditional markets, the S&P, the Nasdaq, I think these markets have found their bottom potentially. Although this was a perfect point to short and it looks like S&P may be having a retracement. I do think the traditional markets have seen the bottom, assuming that we've seen the worst of inflation, which I think we may have possibly in the next uh, meetings. Uh, Jerome Powell for the FOMC will start to slow down the rate hikes. However, for Bitcoin, we know that right now things aren't looking so well. You know, we just had this huge FTX debacle and the loss, the, the trust in crypto is lost for now. So Bitcoin's been traveling in this wedge. And if you're not on the Discord, link below so you can trade with us. But we've been able to short the top of this wedge pretty conveniently, you know, very often, about three, four times. Of course, you could have longed as well, but just prefer to short right now as we are in a downtrend. But now the question is, Bitcoin looks like it's getting rejected off the wedge here. We'll have to see, can it break back above into 16.5, 16.6? Or is it going to get rejected here off the 16.58 level? We're going to have to continue to watch. Now, by the way, the price target for Bitcoin for this wedge, just even being conservative, guys, it actually puts us right around 15K. Okay, we do have support at 16. We do have support at 15.5. But that's just what I see here on this chart, even being conservative. Now, looking at Ethereum, same thing as we've been talking about. Very interesting that Ethereum actually has not set a new low yet, what Bitcoin has. So it could we could have already seen the bottom for Ethereum over here at around $880. However, if we do continue lower, I think this will be the bottom somewhere around here, 7 to 800. And same thing as I said before, Ethereum just continues to kind of consolidate here in this zone, right? Up and down, up and down. So let's see if Ethereum continues or how, how this happens for Ethereum. I think ultimately it will follow Bitcoin. Um, other than that, I mean, fear and greed index is still kind of high given the circumstances. I really would like to see this come down lower and people exit crypto and start to, you know, we do have a lot of FUD right now, but I think once people start to lose interest, I think that's when we can create a true bottom. Funding rates ultimately are negative. So majority of the market is short right now. A lot of short positions on the market. So that's very clear. And a couple things I want to go over, uh, stock to flow ratio. Apparently, this is the, you know, most off target, most deviated that we've been since 2011, guys. So obviously, you know, we can blame this on on SBF. We can blame this on recession and interest. Um, but, you know, it's very clear here. Stock to flow was predicting that around this time right now, Bitcoin would be around 70K. So huge deviation here, although experts are claiming this will all just be a blip on the radar and will continue up and up from here. But we'll see when the next halving happens. We'll see when the next bull market cycle happens as well, guys. Depends how you want to perceive this bullish or bearish. However, 5.7% of the total Bitcoin supply, guys, 1.2 million Bitcoin has now been lost or, you know, lost, whatever you want to call it, but lost on exchanges. Bitcoinica, 61K, Mt. Gox, 650K. I mean, Bitfinex, 120,000 Bitcoins, FTX, 70,000 Bitcoins, a lot of these. And we're starting to see the domino effect now, guys. More exchanges, more lending platforms are starting to shut down and pause withdrawals. So I don't think we've seen the worst yet, to be honest, but we're just going to have to keep watching. I mean, I definitely do think this is a great opportunity here to trade this. Like I said, join the Discord if you haven't, but I'm expecting one push up possibly, and then I'll be looking for another short position. So, I mean, that's all for now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update for Bitcoin price, Ethereum, and just go over some crypto news. But let me know what you guys think down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know.